Hi, it's Matt Nicholl, and I'm recording a quick video for you to give you an idea of how we feel the market will react after the event that is currently going on at the moment. Um, a lot of concern out there, I can imagine, from people wondering what will happen to house prices, wondering what the value of their property will do. And we're happy to obviously advise you on a case by case basis. But um, I wanted to kind of dispel this myth that everyone thinks that the prices might drop by 13%. I want to give you some idea as to why this won't happen um, and give you some confidence that um, you'll be making the right decision if you are still looking to purchase in, in what's going to happen with the house prices going forward. So I've worked in the housing market now for 16 years and one of the, the times that I was working was in 2008 when there was a house price crash and it was a very good learning curve for me to experience but um, obviously a very very trying time for a lot of people that owned properties and um, had negative experiences from this. Um, before 2008, there was another three crashes that we know of, which was 1972, 1979 and 1988. Um, the thing that predated all of these crashes was a tremendous spike in house prices. So the 12 months prior to these house price crashes, there was a huge growth in house prices for a number of different reasons. I won't go through each year individually because the video will take too long. But in 2008, the market that I was working with um, and working in, I remember it very well. I was an estate agent working in Worcester and in 2007, I was probably having the best time of my life. Everything that came on the market sold. The next one came on the market with slightly more money that then sold. The next one came on for more money and that then sold. The reason this was happening and the reason blindsided we were enjoying it, but the reason this was happening is because banks and building societies at that point in time were, in my opinion, recklessly lending to people. They weren't really checking people's finances. They were happily lending money out. And also on top of that, they were doing 100% mortgages. So therefore you didn't require a deposit at all. And further to that, you actually could get 125% mortgage. So not only could you get a mortgage for the house you were buying, you could also get more finance from them to buy a car or you know go on holiday in bits and pieces. Now, when this all changed in 2008, the government stepped back in and their intervention has been fantastic ever since because they have been very, very strict and made banks and abilities very stringent on who they lend money to. OK, so the market ever since that point has been very, very slowly growing um, and it's been a very positive market for us that we've, we've been experiencing. So there's one thing to remember. We haven't had a price hike previous to this event happening. This event is a momentary pause in life. It's, it's the right thing for everyone. It's, it's something that we weren't expecting, something we're having to manage and deal with, but it's not something that's been brought around by um, a banking crisis or anything like that. So I feel that's going to have a, a you know one, one point that's going to play into why prices won't reduce after this event. Now, I can tell you firsthand that um, with my staff that are working, um, working from home currently, um, they're finding a lot of activity. We're registering new buyers daily. We're instructing new, new properties daily. And actually, we are finding that people are wanting to go onto the register or the interest register, as we're calling it, so they can view a property the minute we're able to do so. Um, so there is obviously a pent up demand, something that we obviously talk about regularly. Um, a pent up demand for properties so that when it's safe to do so and we are able to take people to properties, we're expecting there to be a, a, a good run for those that want to go and have a look. The other thing to remember at the moment is um, the interest rates, a Bank of England interest rate is at 0.1% and therefore a knock on reflect of this is that lenders are able to offer very competitive rates to purchasers, which is making it more affordable in many cases for people to be able to purchase property. Uh, you could think about obviously at the moment whilst you're fr being kept indoors and, and, and staying home and staying safe, you're actually saving money. So more people are saving more deposit at a, at a probably a quicker rate than they were before. Of course, people may answer there's going to be a concern about unemployment, but the government's intervention to bring in furlough in is actually to um, allow employers like myself to um, keep their staff in a momentary pause position. I get that, but not to make anyone redundant and not to lay anyone off. So it's a very, very positive stance that the government has taken. And therefore, when things do get back to normal and we're able to go back to our work and go back to do our normal job, these people will be integrated back into their businesses and will be back earning again. Right now, you, like me, will probably be assessing your own home. Is it suitable for your needs? Is it large enough for you? Is it too big for you even? Some people may be rattling around in a big four bed detached, only using three bedrooms or only using three rooms. And I think this, again, this time to think gives you time to stimulate whether you actually do want to move or not. So if we've got a large demand of buyers, we've got a limited number of stock, um, that's going to have a positive impact on prices. I'm not going to say that house prices are going to jump significantly. I, I think they'll stay pretty standard and, and pretty level. And The Guardian actually have recently come out to say that they, they believe their prediction is that the same will happen. Uh, one more thing to mention is if you look out to China where COVID-19 began, 
um, they have started tailing back some of their um, lockdown measures and the house market is actually coming back on. Um, and actually they're seeing a bit of a bounce back. Um, so there's a positive that at somewhere, an area that has gone through this process prior to us is already experienced that the house prices are bouncing back. Um, and, and one anecdote that I can give you just, just whilst it's relevant to, to, to people, um, a purchaser that we had buying a property from us was quite concerned about the purchase price that he'd offered, um, decided to um, come to us and make a lower offer on the property. And actually what we've found since we put the property back on the market on behalf of a client is that we've got now 10 people that want to view it plus four new offers on the property, one of which actually was someone who viewed it previously. So um, there is some really, really positive people out there that really want to kind of crack on with things. So if you are thinking of purchasing at the moment and you want to have any advice, I'd recommend you contact our offices on 01905 799072 for our Droitwich office, 01905 676000 for our Worcester office, 01905 930404 for our new homes department or 01905 675999 for our lettings team. The guys will be happy to help you. They're all working from home. Um, they're all available to speak to you about anything you have relating to the property market. We are recommending that people do a virtual viewing with us currently. And what we've um, taken as our decision is if you've done a virtual viewing with us, you've taken time out of your life to come and have a look at a property with us virtually, um, then you will be first on our list to go around to see the property. So if it has ticked boxes for you in a virtual viewing and you say it's of interest to you, we'll ensure that you are one of the first people to get to view the property when the lockdown is lifted. And I'm sure we'll be working um, with restrictions in place, but we as a company will be very careful to ensure that your safety and our owners, homeowner's safety is, is our main concern. I uh, hope that's been useful for you. I'd love to talk to you further. If you do have any questions, please don't hesitate to email me. My email address is matt at nickelandco.co.uk. Stay home, stay safe, and if you need any more advice, please get in touch.